All right, so here's the thing. I, uh, I'm working on a podcast. It's uh, Luther for the uh, Incomparable slash TV. And I'm doing uh, Luther episode four through six. I got my editing fuel racer five. I'm, uh, some people may, uh, I don't know, not know exactly how I edit a podcast. I do it a little differently, um, for the most part, because, uh, I come from a video background. So I, uh, I thought I would just live stream this thing just to see, uh, I don't know. Just play around on Twitch. Just why not? Who cares? Um, and maybe you'll get some insight if you're doing a podcast yourself. And hopefully you maybe get something out of it. I don't know. We'll see. So I'll go over to my desktop here. Oh, you can see all my ins and outs. So here right here is uh, Final Cut Pro. And it's my editor of choice to start out a show. And so what I do is I gather up all of my guest audio and bring that in. And do that a couple different ways and I'll talk about how I, how I record because I follow kind of a, an untraditional method of two is one. So I record two different tracks for myself <clears throat> and the guests uh, so that I have a, a sum file and I have an isolated file of just me. So when I play this out, uh, you'll hear a double audio from me uh, and maybe somebody else will see, but um, I have all tracks live right now. And the reason I do this is um, Final Cut Pro X has a really cool feature called synchronization. And basically all it entails is bringing in and selecting all the audio that you want to use. That could be audio or video, but in this case audio obviously. Uh, simple right click will allow you to synchronize your clips. And from here I want to use audio for synchronization. Um, don't worry about disable audio for AV clips. That's neither here nor there for right now because we're not using video. I simply title it something that I want to title it. Usually it's, in this case, Luther EpiSync because I have everything inside of a particular collection. So uh, I don't I don't sweat where it's going to go. But I'm not. I've already did the sync and the sync depending on the audio and depending on how many tracks um, I have uh, five in total uh, people that are on the podcast um, but you'll see obviously I've got uh, Eric's Sean's Jason's Devin's this happens to be the sum track Devin Devin put in actually two and my solo mic now, there's a couple of different things. Once once that's all said and done, I'll do I'll get that synchronized file. Then I'll bring it into a project, and if I double click, you'll see that everything is now in alignment. Now, what you don't see is the trim that I've made from the top and bottom. <clears throat> the top meaning the front, bottom meaning the end. Usually, I record uh, straight away. I record everything uh, as I'm on Skype or whatever I'm using. So what I do once once all these files are in alignment, and they're usually kind of kind of off offset a little bit, but they're in sync. Uh, they're in in sync. Uh, and then what I do is something like this, and I hit uh, Shift Apple B. For blade and blade all and it puts a nice cut 
right there on my um where my playhead is and I can simply delete I'm gonna go ahead and undo undo but that gives me a nice head and tail now you'll notice that my audio is actually a different color and if you're not familiar with Final Cut that's fine and I'm going to show you exactly how that happens obviously it identifies each track but well how did I get there well I use a little something in here in the info called audio rolls rolls are very very important and very very useful later on especially on export and so what I do is like I see Sean's audio here and I attach a roll to it. The colors just happen to be what they are. You'll notice this one is dialogue and I'll only get to that in just a second. But I go down here and add in everybody as I need to. If I need to add a roll, I'll go to edit roles and change the name and there we are. You'll also notice that there's dialogue one and two. Well, that's a split track, isn't it? It's left and right. And so I can isolate, uh, but especially on my master track, my sum track right here, which is dialogue one and two. They all def def put themselves as dialogue first. It's not because it hears audio, it's just that's what it assumes. Uh, it's the default of, of, of what you get with, with the audio as you, as you pull stuff in. But my dialogue, if I look right here, I have this track here, which we may not hear very much because I mean one of my favorite, maybe top twenty actors. Okay, that's me talking in this particular on the left channel, and on the right channel, everybody else. In the episode one now, because we have three hours of TV to cover. It works. They're, they have a working thing who them anymore. These shows and this, I kind of feel is detective. That's everybody else that was in in that in that particular Skype. Um, so I can also eliminate that particular audio track if I want. And you can see in the timeline now you're seeing just me. But I use this as a guidepost. It's a computer. It deals in garbage in, garbage out, and synchronization is you know it it's sometimes you need to make some adjustments so I use that as a guide to see who's in alignment and who's not there are tools out there some of which are in very much beta and very kinda of clunky to use and take an enormous amount of my time so why not use the tool that I like and that I'm comfortable with which is Final Cut and it's not used you know a lot for audio like this but the synchroni synchronization engine on it is pretty robust and once you get used to it, then you can kind of break the rules and you can do what you need to do with it. So once I have all of these and I have went ahead and applied roles, again, this is where roles come in. I do a little th something like this. I do a share, which is export essentially. And I export master tracks. Once I do that, and you can see I have Luther 1. I could change that to whatever I want. Maybe it's Luther in this case it's one through three and go to my settings here and what I can do is I can export audio rolls only very nice and I can determine how I want those to be exported whether it be AIF or WAVE doesn't matter for the most part now I don't need stereo tracks I need mono tracks. So, and I, oh, look at that, all dialogue. I don't need that track because if I did, here's what would happen. Let's just play it out in here. He was my first secret break. break. Uh, uh, Sounds like it's yeah, looping. Uh, uh, Everybody's audio is going to record slightly differently. And so, as you're going to get a little bit of, a little bit of echo or what would be almost considered a chorus. So I don't want that. I don't want that inside of any track. And so when I do the export, which I'm set that back up, go over to settings. 
and roles, audio roles. I don't need dialogue. I don't need that track. Personally, some people may want that exported, but I want monos, monos, all the way down the line. Okay, even my own. And when I hit next, it will then go into export. I've gone already had gone ahead and done that. And so when I do that. I end up with a very nice organized organizations key, especially with multiple guests. And when you're dealing with you yourself and four other guests, organization is a really paramount thing. So what it ends up doing, and you can see, I'm actually working on another show, uh, the, the latter half of the season. But you can see it's Luther 46, synchronized clip, which is what that was called. And all Devin, all Eric, all Jason, all me, and all Sean. It adds that all because of the roles. So now I have a clear, uncompressed wave or AIF files that I can now do something with. Now I'm not going to edit audio inside a Final Cut. It's not, it's not the right tool. So you open up that Swiss Army knife and you, and you do something a little different with it. So let's get to that. What I'll do is open up Logic. That's my uh, editor of choice. Some people will use Audacity and they're retarded for doing that. So, but we'll just be okay with that. It's fine for recording. I, I dissuade you from using it as a and as an editor, I think it's gross at, at best. And this happens to be, let's well, just go ahead and get this real quick. Show logic where the, where the files are. I've already added it in. Don't worry about that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to open up an entirely new project. I have logic set to open up the last one open so So now I have my audio tracks all set because I've already added them. And I am recording. So whenever you're ready, Moe's hit it. Okay. Ladies and gents, look at that. Okay, so now I have my audio tracks laid in that I can work with, which is kind of nice. And there are some other things I'm going to do in here and uh, my little trickery but for right now I think there's more than enough for you to uh, kind of see my initial workflow and I'm just you know I'm streaming just to stream so you know whatever 
but I will see you on the flip side and uh, let's just uh, move over here switch over to oh, switch over to cam 2 there we are and uh, I will uh, see you all later I guess I don't know uh, I'll switch over to cam 1 there we go but uh, I'm gonna start editing this I may stream while I'm editing I don't know I just thought I'd give it some just thought I'd play around a little bit anyway have fun. I'll talk to you later.